One night in March 2023, in the Central African Republic, security cameras captured a group of men hurling Molotov cocktails over the fence of a brewing facility owned by French multinational Castel, one of the largest beverage conglomerates in the world. Western intelligence agencies would later confirm that the Wagner Group was responsible for the attack that destroyed a large portion of the brewery's stock. The arson wasn't a random act of vandalism. It was part of a larger war for influence in Africa between Russia and the West. In the Central African Republic, beer matters to Wagner because French brands have a large presence in their former colony. Plus de foot avec 33 export, le Since the 1990s, Castel has produced a beer called Mocaf in the Central African Republic. The Mocaf brewery has been one of the largest employers in the country's limited industrial sector. One year prior to the arson attack, Wagner broke ground on a competing brewery north of the capital, Bangui. They've rapidly scaled up production and distribution of their own beer brand called Africa Tilor, which is sold as Russian. Castel was able to keep producing its mocaf beer throughout CAR's civil war, but not without controversy. In 2021, a report by the investigative nonprofit group The Century detailed how Castel protected its business interests in CAR by making cash payments to rebel groups like the Union for Peace, or UPC. Castel did not respond to requests for comment, but in the past, they've denied these payments were criminal and that they fueled the conflict. Using the details in the report, Wagner saw an opportunity to sell its narrative about the role of the French as exploitative colonizers in the country. In January 2023, a group of social media accounts began simultaneously spreading the same message. Castel supports terrorism. One meme spread by the campaign depicted bottles of mocaf loaded into an assault rifle with the message, each bottle purchased is a bullet in the gun of bandits. Disinformation experts the journal spoke to confirmed these accounts were connected to Wagner and said the campaign bears the hallmarks of one of Wagner's online influence operations. Wagner's campaign also used offline means of spreading this message, like billboards and flyers. One flyer read, with each Castell purchase, you fund the war and kill yourself. The group also organized demonstrations where protesters poured out bottles of mocaf while holding signs about Castell's support for armed groups. The protests were amplified by Wagner-funded social media accounts and news outlets. Wagner used its existing network of businesses to supply, build, and staff its brewery. Most Wagner businesses in CAR are centered on natural resources like gold, diamonds, and timber. Africa Tilor represents a shift for Wagner into businesses that engage with the public. Selling Russian beer to Central Africans provides an opportunity to sell a positive image for Russia's role in the country. Many of the same accounts that took part in the campaign against Castel now tout Africa Tilor as an alternative. Representatives for Wagner and Africa Tilor did not respond to requests for comment. Wagner's message about Castel mirrors its broader message that the French exploited the country and contributed to its violence, and that Russia and Wagner are here to help. Париж так и не смирился с обретением цар независимости, поэтому не оставляет попыток дестабилизировать страну. Across Africa, Wagner has organized demonstrations and social media campaigns promoting Russia as an alternative to France and the West. Since the attack, Castel has continued to produce its beer in CAR. And Wagner's future role in the country appears to be in flux after the death of its leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin. but their presence remains deeply ingrained. 